بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم چپٹر نمبر فور فیزیکل اینڈ کیمیکل چینجز آف میٹر آل دا سبسٹینسز آر میڈ آف میٹر میٹر ہیز ماس اینڈ اکوپائز سپیس دا تھری فیزیکل سٹیٹس آف میٹر آر سالڈ لیکوڈ اینڈ گیس ان وچ دا ارینجمنٹ آف پارٹیکلز از ڈفرینٹ ہیئر وی ول اسٹڈی دا فیزیکل چینجز ان میٹر نمبر ون فیزیکل چینجز ان میٹر In physical change, only appearance of a substance or matter changes, but chemical composition remains the same. Dissolving The dissolving of salt in water is a physical change. It only changes state of matter, but matter having new properties is not formed. Physical state can be reversed. You saw in the activity 4.1 that after evaporation of water, only salt remains there crushing crushing is the process of reducing or changing the size of the material when we crush a sugar cube we only change its physical appearance by crushing an uh, aluminium can its size its size has been reduced and shape is changed it is physical change because even though it is being crushed it is still a can as it has changed uh, changed its size and shape can you give some other example of crushing number 2 changes in states of matter matter basically exist in three states solid liquid and gas if a matter is heated heat is added to the matter if a matter is cooled heat is removed a matter is made of particles heat is a type of energy so when you add heat to the solid the particles gain energy their particles begin to move the more heat is applied the more the particles move eventually they spread enough to roll around around over each other this causes the solid to become liquid when a matter is cooled the reverse happens the particles lose energy slow down and move closer together until they form a solid structure again number 3 processes involved in changes in states of matter you have seen in activity 4.3 that the physical states of matter Uh, change on heating or cooling during the change uh, during the change in the states of matter following process take place melting the process of change of solid state into liquid state by absorption of heat is called melting you have observed that when solid wax was heated it changed into liquid state similarly when solid piece of ice observed Uh, observes heat it becomes uh, water on melting you know in solid the particles keep on vibrating but remain at their fixed positions when a solid gets uh, heat it particles start vibrating faster and do not remain at their position the forces of uh, the forces of attraction between uh, them become weaker and they move away from one another thus a solid thing is changed into its liquid state change of solid into liquid solid absorption of heat liquid freezing what happens when water is kept in a freezer during the, uh, this process heat is lost from water as a result the movement of its particles become slower and they come closer to one another the forces of attraction between particles become stronger thus the liquid is changed into solid this process is called freezing change of liquid into solid liquid release of heat solid boiling when liquid is heated continuously the movement of its particles become faster the space between the particles increases due to this the liquid uh, is changed into vapors or gas and this process is called boiling a boiling of water b change of liquid into gases liquid uh, gas liquid 
evaporation. You must have observed that if water falls on the floor, after some time the floor becomes dry. Why does it happen? From wet surfaces, water continuously moves into surrounding air. This process takes place continuously from the surfaces of canals, lakes, rivers, and oceans, etc. The change of water into water vapors is called evaporation. This process also take place, uh, takes place from the snow surface and from the leaves of plants. Condensation when you drink cold water or cold drink in a glass, you see water drops at the external surface of the glass. From where do these drops of water come? When water vapors present in air touch the external surface of glass, then they lose heat. As a result, these water vapors change into liquid and stick to the external surface of the glass. This process is called condensation. Change of gas into liquid. Gas liquid. Do you know? Number one, wet clothes are dried due to evaporation. Number two, boiling a liquid requires high temperature. Number three, the process of evaporation can take place at any temperature and at high temperature the process of evaporation becomes rapid. Number four, when our sweat dries up, we feel cold owing to the process of evaporation. Chemical changes in matter. If you look around, you will see leaves of plants, branches, vegetables, fruits, papers, and pieces of food. Uh, these are being composed gradually. You must have seen rusted iron gates, doors, windows, and other things. Have you ever thought why this happens? Here we will ident identify and observe changes in materials that make new material with different properties, for example, decaying, burning, and rusting. Decaying. The, uh, the remains of dead organisms and waste matters disappear gradually through decomposing. How does this happen? Uh, you have read about bacteria and fungi. They obtain their food uh, by decomposing the dead bodies into simple components, the process is called decaying. Another example of decaying is food spoiling. Spoiling of food is a chemical change because new product is formed with a different smell and taste. Decaying. Burning. The fuel is burnt in the stove to cook food. To cook food. When fuel burns, when you can uh, see flame, uh, then you can see flame. The flame develops during uh, combustion uh, reaction. This is called burning. For example, the burning of coal, wood, paper, matchstick, etc. Rusting. In the activity, you have observed that in one of the test tubes, the, uh, the color of the nail has changed. In this test, uh, uh, in, in this test tube, oxygen was present which uh, reacted with iron. Due to this reaction, the color of the iron changed. The change uh, that has occurred on the iron is due to the action of oxygen and water. It is called rusting. Iron plus oxygen plus water is equal to rusting. Do you know? To prevent iron from rusting, its surface is coated with paint oil are chromium rusted iron lock comparison between physical and chemical changes we have already re read that uh, there are two types of changes physical changes and chemical changes if during a change of any material no new material is formed with different properties then such change is called a physical change physical change can be rever reversed such as on heating, the solid wax becomes, uh, becomes liquid but remains a wax. On cooling, the liquid wax becomes solid but remains wax. A change in which new material with different properties is formed is called chemical change. The burning of paper is a chemical change as ash is formed in the process. <clears throat> the chemical change cannot be reversed. Comparison between physical and chemical changes. 
physical change number one change is temporary uh, temp, uh, temporary number two no new substance is formed there is change only in physical properties number three change can be reversed by simple physical methods number four energy may or uh, may not be released or observed number five most of the time original from uh, original form of the substance can be obtained easily by simple physical methods chemical change <clears throat> number one change is permanent number two new substance are formed with entirely different physical and chemical properties number three change cannot be reversed by simple physical methods number four energy is released are observed